Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Well guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I was wanting to show you guys how to cut people asking us about our incubator that I've been working on. Um, I've been building this thing for the last probably two weeks or so. Um, I and mean, it didn't take that long. It's just been waiting on parts and stuff to get here in the mail because I had to order everything. Uh, like my controls. Um, anyway, I got... Uh, it's just basically a three-quarter inch constructed cabinet. Plywood, I'm sorry three-quarter inch plywood and then you know I trimmed it out some one before to make like a, a lip for the door to set into uh, I'll open it and show you in a minute and the zombies because we're making zombie chickens <laughs> but anyway lay that over here out of the way um, we'll start here first it's right here there's a little side cabinet that I built onto it uh, with a door and this holds a humidifier That instead of, uh, well, I mean, I still have pans of water in there. I'll show you that in a minute. But this right here um, is controlled by this controller here. It's digital controller, humidity controller. And it, I've got to set it 55, 54, 55. I think it's set between 50 and 55, I think, right now. And it stays around 54, 55 before it even kicks on. I mean, it hardly ever kicks on. Um, I added two pans of water down there um, because it, it was uh, yesterday and today is the first days it's been running. And uh, we're just now getting the bugs worked out of it. It has 216 eggs in it right now. So, anyway, uh, what I did is I, wire, I plumbed that up. I'll show you all the inside in a second. To a bar inside drilled holes in it. And when it kicks on, it blows steam inside the cabinet. Well, humidity, I guess, vapors, whatever you want to call it. Mip, moisture. <clears throat> and then it, uh, there's two fans in here. I ordered an uh, incubator warehouse kit. Uh, the XL model, this is, this is the controller, the standard controller that comes with it. And all it does is set the temperature off and on. That's all it does. There's nothing fancy about it. And it's at 99.1. Yeah. And this one is a Ranko controller. Um, I've actually had this one uh, for a while. I decided to use it because uh, I was having problems getting the, the temperature to, from the top to the bottom to stay to where it would be halfway acceptable you know what i mean you got to have this thing at 99.5 to 100.5 temperature and uh, it'd be 100 degrees up here and it'd be like 80 degrees down there you know it's be a major swing so what i did to overcome that and it's actually holding perfect now um this one's at 100 and this one's at 99.5 now so i mean it's it's really close top and bottom this top this bottom and humidity is holding at 55 as you can see and it's not kicking on or there'd be a little red light on right there all right, now I also put a, also put a light in there where you can see. <clears throat> All right, I'll leave that light on and I'll show them the insides. You got to look over to all the stuff is because I'm still working on it. Uh, latches I used, uh, they were basically like a window type latch. Um, they seem to work pretty good. <clears throat> and I had to put an R on it because that's starts our last name. I always throw some bull crap like that on something anyway. But anyway, I've got three latches on it. Top, middle, and bottom. Alright. We can leave it open for a minute. Okay, as you can see I use plexiglass for the door. And it's silicone and I actually cracked it, so I gotta put another screw in it right there. But so far the silicone's holding up good in it right there. All right, I made four trays. All right, these trays actually pull in and out like this. I ain't gonna take them all the way out right now, but they can, put, they can pull them all the way out. And I used uh, electric turners that holds uh, 42 eggs in each turner. And there's a like a plug-in receptacle back there, right there, that I got them all plugged in for. Right there you can see the humidity coming out. If you hold up right there. See the humidity coming out the bar right there. And that's how you keep the humidity in here. That's the heaters, that's one, and that's one, and then you can make a wirehouse kit. Okay, and then down here, as you can see, I've got two heat bulbs, and the reptile heat bulbs, and under those, I've got metal pans of water. 
and I keep those full of water. I have been, like I said, just today, yesterday, and today is the first day we've used it. Yeah. Then we also have the thermometer in here. Yeah, you know, I just set it in there, and it stays true. The temperature's true throughout the whole thing. Here's a lead right here, a temperature lead for the Ranko. Here's a humidity sensor right here. And the other temperature sensor is back there on the back. It ain't, it's real short, so I just left it dangling. It's right back there somewhere and all that right there. Somewhere right in there. All right. So I'm gonna close it back now. There's two fans in the bottom down there, but they're not hooked up. I didn't have to use those. I thought I would, but I didn't. Uh, if you show them right there, the fans in the back. They're not on. I didn't have to use them. So let me close this back so I don't lose a whole lot of temperature there. See, it dropped down to 27, 28. Now it's climbing back. 30, so it's climbing back. Now it's the humidity. Okay, I don't know if you can see that because I have to shine a light. You can see it. All right. Yeah, so right there, that one's just what? 98.2. And that one's 91. Yep. But now they'll climb back and they'll level off. Uh, It'd probably take it a few minutes. You know, I guess probably about five, 10 minutes to level back off, I'll show you though. And I built this like a hutch like top on the back of it right here. This piece here to house the controls. Cause I probably wind up putting some other like top, middle and bottom temperature sensors in it. Uh, humidity sensors and stuff like that all in here. Just, but I don't know why, just because. Uh, and I have an extra uh, humidity controller here if I need one same thing as this right here these things ain't but uh, like $14 These humidity controllers and you also have a uh, Right here It's called an ink bird Temperature controller, but it's the same style as that Let me take it out here This is this is the temperature controller here it's called ink bird. It's the same. It looks exactly like that But it controls the temperature instead of the humidity Right there, so it's just the same thing. And it, it would it does the same thing as both of these do. So I mean, I, I, you know, if I wanted to look con conform, I guess I could put that in there. But uh, that come with a kit, and I already had that. And this thing right here was like 150 bucks, so I was gonna use it for something. Put this back up. So, but anyway, um, right now, it's holding temperature, so it climbed right back up on the humidity, it climbed right back up on 53. It didn't take it just a few seconds, you know, not even a minute, I don't even think, to get back to humidity because of the way I got that rigged up in there. Now it's back at 98.9. Yeah, this one said this one's 94. 94. It's climbing. So, I mean, it'll level back off in just a minute. Uh, but that was my biggest problem, trying to figure out how to keep the temperature the same throughout the whole cabinet. Um, the only fans in it is those two in the top that I showed you that part of the incubator kit. Uh, it continu They continuously blow, circulate the air. Um, I had to come up with a ventilation hole in the back. I had to figure out, well, I drilled a one inch hole, not a one inch hole, but it's like a three quarter inch hole in the back. And I kept adding tape on it, uh, you know, covering the hole up more and more until I figured out exactly how much Ventilation I needed until it started leveling off and that's how I got now. It's got a piece of blue tape on the back of it But I'm gonna get one of those things that you turn to adjust it And pretty much that's it But uh, up until we opened the door all day yesterday and all day today This thing has held 99.5 or 100 degrees Non-stop it's never come off of it and this right here has always been over 50. It's been at least 54 55 It'll climb back in a minute um, it's back to 50, 51 now. Yeah. See, it's running now. It'll take it a minute to get it circulated. But remember, it dropped down to 27. Yeah, 100. Yeah, that's 100 degrees. So it's on 100 now. Um, 100.2. Yeah. And that one's at 97. 97. That's what I'm saying. There's, so it's 100 degrees, and when it goes 0, 0, it's 100, and then 0.2. And that's at 97. This one right here will hit 100 and shut off. It'll shut those two heat lamp bulbs in the bottom off over top. I've got those placed over top of the water trays down there to help with the hold the humidity where I want it. And uh, like I said, those are just 
standard electric egg turners that you buy at uh, Royal King. Uh, we had four of them uh, from previous incubators and stuff like that. Um, wasn't too hard just to build a. I made these trays where I could take the the actual turner out and use it for a hatcher also. So basically, what we'll do is we'll, whenever it comes time to hatch them, we'll just take the the turner out and lay the eggs in there, and then that whole tray will be a hatching tray. Then so it's a hatcher. Um, it's an incubator and a hatcher, both combined into one right here. So that's what I was wanting whenever I started building it. I wanted something that was you could put a lot of eggs in. Um, and be and done also with. be able to use it for a hatcher. Yeah, and, and use it for both. But now on the side, I did put uh, in each in each tray or each shelf, I did set one dozen of eggs in each one that are not being turned. And that's just an experiment. We have so many eggs, I stuck them in there because I want to see how they how they do. People say you get like a 50, 60% hatch rate just by doing it like that. <clears throat> so, I mean, we'll see. But all together, there's 216 eggs in here. Like that. Yeah, yeah, 216. Yep. So, anyway, guys, that's what I've been working on for, you know, pretty much two weeks now. Uh, right there, the, th the thermometer in there is right back down on 100 degrees right there. You can see it. 52% humidity, 100 degrees temperature inside. And that's, see that one's back to 98 and that one's on 100 even, just like that right there in there says. So I mean, it's pretty accurate according to all, all the controls. As soon as this one right here hits uh, 99.5, it'll shut off. So, But we can kind of let it run there just a minute, let them watch, and see as soon as this one hits 100, which is about to now, it's on 99, and that was on 99.8, so that's how close they stay. That they stay within a, a 0.5, a half a degrees with each other. These two do the top and the bottom. It's the bottom, and that's the top. The top heat, bottom heat, and the humidity stays over 50 so and then on day 18 you will all jack that up to 75 which is pretty easy to do all i gotta do is make a mash a couple buttons and i can turn it on 75 percent humidity and you'll see that file start rolling in there on what day day 18. They, 18 they incubate for 21 days so that'll stay on like up in, from between now and 16 more days i'll leave it alone but on day 18 i'll jack that up to like 75 or 80. And then we'll probably take them out and set them in the trays and leave them along to the hatch. Um, but I mean, honestly, that's that's pretty much it. It's it's pretty simple construction. Uh, if anybody needs to know how something is wired, uh, how something works, uh, you can send us a, a message or whatever, and I'll tell you how I wired it. Or I, I could even show you in like a short video of how to wire something specifically or, or how I wired it. Um, but... I mean, it's an incubator. I mean, it's turned out pretty nice. I, I, I think it turned out pretty nice. I think so too. Yeah. I mean, it's all the woods all scratched up and everything now, but it is what it is. Some of this wood is what I had laying around. Um, I had uh, some one before and stuff like that laying around and it's already stained. So, uh, and this these pieces here already had, already stained and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, honestly, I already had the plywood. We already had the plywood, so. I mean, we did have to buy it at first, but this stuff we had laying around, I pretty much made it out. I mean, I had to buy certain things like the the latches, the handles. Uh, I had to buy that, the humidifier. That's what I've been waiting on for a week. It finally come in, and uh, it's our, it, what it is is a reptile humidifier. So, anyway, like I said, guys, <clears throat> if you haven't done so yet, uh, please hit that uh, like and subscribe button. Um, help our channel out a little bit uh, and if there's anything on this right here that anybody needs to know more information about or how to wire something, how to do something uh, just shoot us a message and I'll try to help you out the best I can but for right now it's working just about the best you're going to get I guess but anyway guys thank you, we'll see you on the next one good job I'm watching Skype. There you go. Good job.